but I've always done photography. I, I in my undergraduate degree, which was many, many, many years ago, I did, um, as I say, visual arts and writing, and I ended up specialising in photography and poetry. <laughs> So I've always had the lens, but I'd never really mixed the two. In fact, what I used to do was I would go through periods, and I still do to a degree, of doing visual art, art photography, whatever, and then I'd sort of switch into the writing. So now I'm doing, I'm doing them more together, I suppose. I went back to, to university in my late 40s, and I did a, a master's degree in, in creative writing, which was poetry, actually. And, um, and I got into poetry film then, I saw that people were doing it. And, um, and so it was about 10 years ago, yeah. I was on the underground in London. And um, this, was, this was before I went to do the MA, the masters. And I was sitting on the underground and I was looking at the adverts uh -huh. on the, mm -hmm. in, in the carriages. And I suddenly started like noting down words and phrases from the adverts. I had no idea that there was a name for what I was doing, which is found poetry. I learned that later. And that's how I got back into writing again, because I hadn't been Sorry, So what is found poetry time. exactly? It's when you, when you take uh, words and phrases from other sources and kind of scramble them up, uh -huh. and you, you, know, you repurpose them and make something different. It's like a, a, called a found poem. I see. So that's how I got back into it. And then I went to university to do the course. You could be a filmmaker who's interested in this, and but is not a poet. Mm -hmm. um, and you could be a poet who has no experience of filmmaking, as I was really. Um, and so you, you can do it through collaboration. So you could have a poet and a filmmaker working together. Or you could learn how to, you know, make films or work with an editor. There's many ways into it. And uh, it doesn't always start necessarily with a poem it can just start with an idea it's it's like we were talking about today a poetry film is not really a film of a poem as you know yeah it's a whole new kind of poetic experience it's you're creating a new poetic experience <coughs> by layering sound image and text in whatever ways and actually as we were talking about today Maybe you don't even need text because we were looking at <coughs> dance films. Mm -hmm. You know, body language is is really poetic. But, you know, I don't know what proportion of communication is body language. It's very high, isn't it? So maybe you don't even need the poem, the actual physical poem that's written down. It's a relatively new genre mm -hmm. that is just exploding at the moment. You know, I guess because of everybody wants video, we're all used to seeing video all the time. So it has suddenly exploded and it's kind of a bit like the Wild West. It's, you know, right. it's just defining itself as it goes along. And there are many different types. There are the films that are more narrative and there are films that are more, um, more abstract, there's animated films, there's so many different types. What defines it as a poetry film? Just the fact that there is poetry? No, the fact that I, well, I think different people would say different things, but I think uh, there's a guy called Tom Conibays who is like the godfather of poetry film, and he's been making films since the 80s, the 1980s, I think. But it has its roots in, sur in surrealism, really. But he's, he's done a whole manifesto, and he's very strong on this thing about um, he, he's not keen on he's not keen on literal kind of literally mm. illustrating the poem with the film mm -hmm. so he's more about how you combine those three key elements the text the image the, the visuals and the sound to create something that is a new poetic experience so it's a work of poetry the film rather than a film I see. so it's not a film it's not a poem it's something of its own but it's a poetic experience i think that's quite a good definition